All right. So are you ready to unpack this Penguins Leafs game? It's going to be a good one. Yeah. You know, I, I think a lot of people are are kind of overlooking this matchup, to be honest. Yeah, it kind of feels like one of those sneaky good games. Exactly. And we've got some interesting insights from sportsgambler.com to dive into today. Oh, yeah. Who'd they get to break this one down? NHL analyst Kevin Thompson. Okay, so he knows his stuff. He does. And he's making a bold call right off the bat. Under 6.5 goals for the game. Under 6.5. Okay, so <laughs> not exactly going out on a limb there, right? True. But here's the thing. His... Analysis gives this a 60% probability. Okay, so that is interesting. That's higher than what we're seeing from most bookmakers. Way higher, which is what makes this so interesting. Yeah, and what makes him so confident. Well, he's factoring in recent performances for both teams. For example, the Penguins just crushed it against the Red Wings 6-3. to three. Oh, yeah, Crosby with a couple of assists, right? Classic Crosby. Exactly, always in the mix. And then you got the Leafs pulling out a win against the Devils. Four to two, wasn't it? Yeah, it's right. close one. Nail biter, but hey, a win's yeah. a win in my book. Absolutely. But here's where things get a little, well, let's just say it's not as clear cut. All right. I'm intrigued. Lay it on me. The Leafs have actually beaten the Penguins the last two times they've played. No kidding. Yeah, and get this. Both of those wins were at Scotiabank Arena. So the same place they're playing this Saturday. Exactly. So hold on. We've got the Leafs with a home ice advantage, but this expert is calling for a low scoring game what am i missing here you're not missing anything yeah it's a good point yeah and this is where kevin's analysis gets really interesting he's pointing to some recent scoring trends for both teams yeah the leafs in particular haven't actually scored more than 6.5 goals in their last nine games nine games nine oh, games sorry. which is a pretty significant sample size yeah it is for sure so despite their recent head-to-head -head record kevin's saying don't expect a goal fest for this one. Okay, I'm listening. So if we're leaning towards under here, how do we actually use that information? What should our listeners be looking at if they're thinking about placing a wager? Well, Kevin suggests using what's called a bet builder. Okay, I love a good bet builder. But for those who haven't explored that yet, what is it exactly? It's basically like creating your own parlay. Wow. So you're combining multiple smaller bets within the same game. Right. So it's all about increasing those odds. Yeah. And Kevin recommends starting with that under 6.5 total goals as your base. Solid foundation. Mm -hmm. What else is he adding to this bet builder? He's got the Penguins' Raquel scoring. Okay, Raquel to score. He's been hot lately, so I can see that. Uh. And anything else? Or is he keeping it lean and mean? One more interesting pick. He's got Leafs Martyr going under 2.5 shots on goal. Whoa, now that's a twist. Marner's known for his shots. Why is he targeting him for under? Right. It seems counterintuitive, but that's what makes this so interesting. Kevin's reasoning is actually really solid here. He's dug into the data, and there's a case to be made. All right, I'm hooked. Let's hear it. What's the data saying? So it seems like opposing teams have really been keying in on shutting down Marner's shots lately, uh -huh. especially in those high-danger areas he loves. Yeah, he's definitely a threat in those spots. He is, but it looks like the Leafs coaching staff has also been making some tactical adjustments. Oh, really? Like what? Well, it seems like they might be shifting him into more of a playmaking role for this matchup. So instead of just firing off shots, maybe he's setting up his teammates more? Exactly. Okay. Which makes you wonder, if his shots are down, does that actually increase his chances of getting an assist? Ooh, yeah, good point. That's something to think about. Definitely. It's all connected, right? For sure. So we've got a solid foundation with this unders prediction and Kevin's bet builder picks, but I'm always hungry for more. Are there any other interesting nuggets buried in this analysis? Oh, there are always more nuggets. For instance, when it comes to Marner specifically, Kevin points out that there was a period where he was consistently hammering over 3.5 shots on goal per game. So are we saying there's a chance he defies the odds here? Could he just go on a shooting spree? It's definitely possible. Hmm. And that's what makes this so interesting. It's not just about following someone else's picks blindly. Right. It's about understanding the reasoning and then making your own call. Exactly. Using those insights to inform your own strategy. Love that. Okay, so we've covered Marner. What about the Penguin side? Anything we should be watching for there? Well, we have to talk about Crosby, of course. Had to come up eventually. The guy's a legend. Right. And he's been playing well. But here's the thing. Kevin points out that Crosby has actually had some quieter games, specifically against the Leafs yeah. recently. Huh. So even Sid the Kid has his off nights. I guess everyone's human. Even the greats. Yep. And it could be a number of factors. Maybe the Leafs have his number defensively, or maybe it's just a slight dip in performance. Yeah, you never know. Okay, so Crosby's performance against the Leafs is something to keep an eye on. What about Raquel? 
since Kevin picked him for a goal. Interesting point, because Raquel has actually been relatively quiet in recent games against the Leafs, too. Oh, really? So there's definitely some risk there betting on him to break out of that slump against this particular team. There is, which I think highlights the importance of doing your research and not just going with your gut. Right. You got to weigh those gut feelings against the data. Exactly. And sometimes you got to trust the numbers, even if they go against what you think might happen. I'm all about that data driven approach. Okay. So we've got Crosby, Rick Lamarner. Anything else we're missing? Well, there's one more thing that Kevin dug into that I found really interesting. Okay. Hit me with it. He actually looked at the odds of which team will score first. Hey, seriously, I didn't even think about that. Right, it's not something you typically consider. No, not really. So who does he have winning that opening face-off? Well, it's actually pretty close. The Penguins are considered the underdogs for the win overall, but their odds of scoring first aren't far off from the Leafs. So you're telling me even though the Leafs are favored to win, the Penguins could very well strike first. It's definitely within the realm of possibility. And that just shows you how unpredictable hockey can be. Totally. Okay, so we've got this under prediction. The bet builder picks player specific insights. Anything else our listeners should be thinking about? We sort a lot of numbers at them, but we need to bring it back to context. Oh, I like that. Context is key. So, how do we make sense of it all? Right, because we can't just look at the numbers in isolation. We need to consider the bigger picture. Absolutely. So, how does this all fit together? What's the context we need to keep in mind? Well, one thing that Kevin brings up is home ice advantage. Yeah. You can't ignore that, especially in a matchup like this. Yeah, that's true. The Leafs have a pretty solid record at Scotiabank Arena. They do. Yeah. And that crowd energy can be a real factor. It's like having a seventh player on the ice sometimes, right? Exactly. And then you've got the psychological aspect. The Leafs are going to be looking to keep that winning streak alive on their home turf. And they've got two wins against the Penguins there recently. So, yeah, that momentum's got to be a factor. No doubt momentum is huge in hockey but it's not everything. Right. There's always more to the story. What else should we be considering? Let's talk special teams for a minute. Okay, power play, penalty, kill. Oh. Always a factor. Yeah, Kevin's really big on looking at those percentages. Yeah. And he noticed something interesting. The Penguins, they tend to rack up those penalty minutes. Yeah, they can play a little rough around the edges sometimes. Right. But here's the thing. The Leafs haven't actually been that effective on the power play this season at least not compared to previous years. So even if the Penguins are spending more time in the penalty box, the Leafs might not be able to capitalize. Exactly. All right. Which could definitely contribute to a lower scoring game. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's all starting to add up now. Right. It's like putting together a puzzle. You have all these different pieces and you have to figure out how they fit. And that's what I love about these deep dives. Yeah. You really get to see the full picture. It's not just about looking at who's favored to win. It's about understanding the why behind the prediction. Exactly. So as we wrap up this deep dive, what are the key takeaways for our listeners? What should they be thinking about before this Penguins-Leafs game? I think the biggest thing is don't underestimate the power of expert analysis. Yeah. Like what Kevin's doing over at SportsGambler.com. These guys live and breathe hockey stats. Right. They know their stuff. But we can't just blindly follow their picks. Of course not. It's about taking those insights and then doing your own digging looking at the trends both for the teams as a whole and for the individual players. Right. Look for those little details that other people might miss. Exactly. And never underestimate the importance of context. Home ice advantage, recent performance, all of that factors in. Context is king. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, folks, there you have it. Another deep dive in the books. We've armed you with the knowledge. Now it's up to you to make those winning bets. Enjoy the game, everyone. Agree or disagree with these picks and plays, let me know in the comment section below. I'm always interested to hear your take. Yeah, it's the first time I'm doing this by cam. Well, one of the few times anyways. Maybe I'll do more. But anyway, the point is, let me know who you're picking in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thanks, guys and gals. Get that cash. This is Trending Rabbit.